Hello and welcome back, Saints Row 4. My name's Tarmac, and we are actually, hopefully, beginning the game. That little uh, intro was nice and ridiculous. This is a prop. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. <laughs> this is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points, we can get it back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree <laughs> you have a problem? No, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'll think you're in trouble. King, can you have this nice say assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. You will fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Where's a septic truck when you need one? Brilliant. So I get to start as the president or just somebody in office what? maybe Keith has a good word for me I'm really not looking forward to question time what is that awesome it's like the buster sword in gun Listen, version we've got enough clout right now for one major bill not both what do you want me to push forward do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? <laughs> Let me kick fuck cancer. Um, we're curing cancer. Cancer can kiss my ass. I Good agree. Choice. Thank you very much, Goliath. How Kinsey's got the press under control. What other major decisions do I get to make? Oh, you look like you're going to give now, me something. you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Can I punch you? Filibuster. Ah, <laughs> uh, in the junk. Allow me to retort. It's always great when the choice is punch or punch. Yeah, you look like you're going to talk to me too. Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Uh I uh, no. Thanks, but no thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he nice find himself. work, Oleg. Oleg's awesome. Glad he's uh, wearing clothes. Not something that occurs in St. Rose the Third for a while. The president's words were taken out of context. <laughs> White crib. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote: "I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me." That's a great question, Jane. <laughs> I think we have a problem. Uh, not you two. How many times have Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. What? This is serious. We need alien drugs and superpowers. Been saying the same thing. Sorry, when Australia. Kids, seriously. When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right. I'll swing by after I... Take me. I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? Splendid. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that turned it up a notch. Back off. Even beyond the riding a nuke in the intro. Could arm myself. Yes, we need weapons more than just the gun. And a grenade launcher every ten. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You all right? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's <laughs> happening. What is happening? All out war, by the looks of it. Yes. Yes. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Stay safe. All right. Oh, lovely, lovely guns. Who's compensating now, eh? <laughs> Do I get one of everything? Is that arsenal of democracy? Oh, I do. Um, yeah, Sokolov. Come on, this way. What the fuck, Key? Brilliant. Got this. Shit, players, save yourself. Dead, save me. We're taking all the people. All the Tell my wife I had another you wife. Birds picked a fight with a wrong poultice. I'm gonna find that ugly mother. Matt and I are at the South Portico. You have to see this. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. I'll rip your fucking head off. Where are you, arsehole? Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Matt, hold on to me. Arsha, man. God damn it. Boy, he's just losing all of his friends. That's no good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wrong time to run out of ammo. Enough, down you go. Christ on a bike. That paint paints a pretty interesting picture, isn't it? Virtually activate some portico defenses. Let's do this, you beautiful, deadly thing here. How is this not the first thing that happened when the ship? Just showed up. America. Come on, chuck on this. I'll prank every last one of you. Did you notice who I was? You nick my mates. Come on. Am I supposed to shoot the big ship? Or just the little ones? <laughs> Wait. This one's for Uncle Sam. Wow. Looked like a little bit of Galaga for a moment there. Good. More big guns. Oh, come on. You si or survived riding a nuke. You'll be fine. Yeah. 
There you go. Now kick in the windshield. Why do you humans enjoy leaping so much? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! You didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Classy, classy. <laughs> Not so fast. I hate the quick time events though. Just let me shoot him in the head, preferably. Did I not hit the space bar enough? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. No. Alright, I guess I succeeded. Um sure, why not? It's all good. Loving it so far. Oh, goodness me. What a dream. Um. Ah, uh, well, that's what are you walking like that for? Gosh, what a glorious day! <laughs> <laughs> Classic sitcom. I see. Got that strut going. It's in the kitchen. Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. How stereotypical. Oh, Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail <laughs> for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy pancakes. new get rich scheme. Deep silver. Oh, that Assholes, all of you. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. Hmm. More. I think walking. I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Right away, dear. I did a lie, neighbor. Oh, I want to punch you. I wonder what is going on in the world today. I want to punch myself, to be perfectly honest with you. Reach, reach. Boy, that was hard to get a hold of. You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Um, Don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. <laughs> Cautiously accelerate. Break for stop signs. <laughs> it's a nice car, though. All right. So we got to go nice and slow. Boy. They sure are anxious to meet you. And by they, you mean? <laughs> Why, well, you do have a quiz. Lame. It's a humor. Why does this all look so bizarre? Now, what's that you say? Something's not right. This is so odd. Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. What fish? What are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, careful now. So can I, oh, yeah, okay, now can we take out any pedestrians? That's what I really want to do. No, no, ah. Well, here we are. How did Why I knock down the- glad hand a bit? We got time. Hello, everybody. I'm here to say hi. What? This is very clearly is a, you know, a matrixy sort of thing. Picture? Yeah, I suppose. Aw, thank you kindly. 
Looks like it's time. Your public <laughs> is waiting. <laughs> oh my stars, it's the president. Hi, how a we don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. <laughs> I love it. That's more like it. I'll just be getting the fuck out of here. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is, he, is that really you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. What am I meant to break free from? The place you're in isn't real. <laughs> Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. But I'm driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. <laughs> Head there and give me a sec. Give me directions. That way, alright. Let's go down maybe this one more. Sense. Wouldn't it be interesting to have a game that really took place in a nice, pleasant -y sort of neighborhood like this? Where you get to... It kind of like you did in um, uh, Dungeon Keeper. No, yeah, Dungeon Keeper. Where on the overmap you see as the as the land gradually becomes more and more corrupted, that would be kind of neat. Something sort of you know GTA like, I can't wait to but where you get to have an obvious influence on. Good God. <laughs> and the town just gets more and more corrupt as time goes on. Oh, good. Just be you. Who else would I be? The simulation is all about normalcy. Come on. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. That was successful. Let's try taking their car. And I'll just back up a little bit. Where are you? I don't know. What are you hiding over there for? Killing police officers is bad, but this game isn't, you know, something that takes itself seriously, so. You need to do more. Bigger. Hold Bigger. On, sending you something. Okay. Oh, yes. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. <laughs> Boy, howdy. This thing sure is neat, out. Brilliant. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a oh minute. no. What am I waiting for, Kinsey? What's wrong? More. Uh, what do you got? Give me that truck. There we go. Mr. Anderson. Where are you? Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. Guess maybe I should have been playing on hard. Oh well. Alright, so President, aliens attack, they take me. Stick me in some sciencey thing. And now it's time to escape. At least that's what I suspect. Where the hell are Fuck me. I should have realized a 
prison of peace would never hold a sociopath <laughs> like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Uh huh. I can see where the open world stuff is going to get really fun here. It's nice how they figured out a way to let you get back to a normal, normal sort of city. There's no way to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? Guilty of crimes against the huh. Satan Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose <laughs> torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. How oh, very rude. It. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Uh, just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. <laughs> Go now and tear their world asunder. One of those things, just I, you you can't even compare this. To any other game except for the Sans Row series. Nothing else even comes close. GTA is similar in the open world, you know, kind of thing. I don't know. I just, I'm having a good time. This is going to be an excellent game. Uh, I am going to close this one up now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Tarmac, playing some Sans Row 4. And we'll see you for the next one where I assume we're now through the prologue and I should be able to actually play some of the game. So see you later. Cheers. <laughs>